Hey guys, welcome back to this lesson where I'm going to teach you a little bit about if-else statements. So I just taught you about uh, the if statement, and we wrote out all these if statements and compared them with our Jedi rank. And so what we're going to do is we're going to delete the two bottom ones. We're going to keep this one up here that's, that's uh, equal to 100, but we're going to change that to greater than or equal. So another uh, operational relational operator that uh, you guys will need to know as we keep going forward in the programmings but greater than or equal to looks like that you can do the same thing with less than or equal to as well just to give you that heads up but essentially a program comes to this if statement and uh, it comes to the Jedi rank and it compares it to 100 which we just have a set value for our what we call the Jedi master status whatever that means and at this point if our program deems this expression as true, we print it out. But what if anything else would happen? That's where the else statement comes in. So we have if this is true, it prints out this statement here. Otherwise, or else, it's going to do this action that we tell it to. So in this case, the action that we're going to tell it to do is we're just going to display on the screen to keep going sucker because at that point they're not a Jedi Master. If they haven't achieved a hundred or less, or I'm sorry, a hundred or more, then they're obviously under the Jedi Master status, so they just gotta keep going. So we're gonna run this out, and Jedi rank, let's put in 500. You've achieved Jedi Master status. Let's go ahead and run it again. Let's put in 50 in this case, and we get keep going sucker. So again, another basic tutorial for you guys, and basic understanding as we learn some of the decision-making processes that programs can make and that is the if-else. So we'll uh, catch you guys in the next tutorial. See you then!